CS 2008 is a very big show. There's loads of stuff going on here. So one place that you want to come if you want to see the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop is this place here. This is the Innovations 2008 Design and Engineering Awards section where you see the best gadgets and the best gizmos. We're going to take a quick stroll around and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look first at stuff that's going on in cars, because in-car audio and entertainment stuff is very big at CES this year. So let's just have a quick scan through. Um, we've got a cracking little stereo here from uh, Alpine, which is styled a bit similar to uh, your home um, component system with that big, dirty, great knob on the side there. And it's got a little 3.5-inch LCD screen as well. Um, and then you've got this down here, which is a great um, Bluetooth. This is the Venturi Mini um, Bluetooth FM and RDS receiver, so you can actually play your music or stream it from MP3 players in connected devices. Uh, there's Navigon here doing their sat-nav stuff. This is quite cool. It's actually upside down. Um, this is um, a Q1100 from um, Concept Enterprises. Imagine it the other way up, mounts on inside the roof of your car, um, but you can connect iPod to it, uh, SD, um, MMC, and it's also DVD player as well. Um, so the kids can just argue like crazy about what they want to watch. Right, now we've got the mother of all subwoofer amplifiers. Okay, this thing here, this is the kicker. This has got a Warhorse um, patent, it's patent pending, Warhorse technology. But this thing delivers 10,000 watts RMS at two ohms load, which translates pretty much into layman's terms. Of, it's going to make your brain melt out of your ears. But let's have a look what else is here. Um, Karen, I've got this really nice doubled in size. Um, this is the uh, M Max 68BT. 685BT, sorry, um, DIN AV Center. Uh, this has got like loads of connectivity, USB ports, Bluetooth, all this kind of thing. Uh, there's the head unit for it as well. And then up here we've got the uh, Alpine um, SPX 1617 Pro. Um, these are basically like a little tweeters and woofers, but they're using like a new clear plastic technology stuff. Um, apparently fantastic, really, really good crystal clear quality for the high-end stuff. So combine that with the kicker down there with its 10,000 watts RMS. You've got your brains bleeding out your ears, and then he's going to fry them for you. And then around the corner here, JVC, of course. No, nothing's going to be complete without a bit of JVC. So we've got the JVC doubled in down here, and then we've got the JVC um, in-dash multimedia receiver as well. We're going to go and have a look now at what else is going on. Okay, on a more serious note, and we're not talking about uh, entertaining stuff here, is this thing here. This is the um, Home Health Point uh, HPP 1500. This is essentially an open source um, USB and wireless hub which uh, connects an elderly relative to health experts and also monitors their health as well. So if they fall down the stairs and break a hip or something like that, someone's going to know about it straight away. But also along the lines of helping out the elderly is this. This is the Visit Corporation LV920-1. And essentially, this is um, eyewear. You connect it to the TV, they put these on, and then they can have the image uh, retuned for their eyesight. So it's for people with uh, degenerative uh, sight diseases. The only problem with this thing is that they're going to start looking like that Android guy for Star Trek. 